I suppose we could, the head of the Air Force admitted grudgingly. Then get cracking, the Queen said. You'll need nine helicopters, one for each giant. Where, where is this place? The Air, the Air Force man said to the BFG. I presume you can pinpoint it on your on the map. Pinpoint, the B, said the BFG map. I was never hearing this these words before. Is this Air Force been talking slush bungle? The Air Marshal's face turned the color of red. Plum, plum. He was not used to being being told he was talking slash bungle. The queen, with her usual admirable tact and good sense, came to the rescue. BFG said, she said, Can you tell us more or less where this giant country is? No, Magister, the BFG said, not on my Nelly. <clears throat> then we're jiggered, cried the, the army general. This is ridiculous, cried the, the air marshal. You must not give up so easy, the BFG said calmly. The first titchy bobstickle you made and you began shouting, you was... Biffs, Biffs, quiggled. The army general was no more used to being insulted than the air marshal. His, his face began to swell with fury and his cheeks blow out until they looked like two huge red tomatoes. Your majesty, he cried, we are dealing with a lot. Lunatic, lunatic. I want noting more to do with this ridiculous operation. The queen, who was used to the tantrums of her senior officials, ignored him completely. BFG, she said. Would you please tell these rather dim witted characters exactly what to do? A pleasure, your magister, said the BFG. Now listen to me carefully, you two footboglers. The military men began to twitch, but they stayed put. I is not having the foggiest idea where giant country is in the world, the BFG said. But I is always able to gallop there. Eyes galloping forwards and backwards. From giant country every night to blow my dreams into little chiller, chillers' bedrooms. I is knowing the way very well. So all you is having to do this is this. Put your nine big belly hoppers up in the air and let them flow me at it. As I is galloping along. How long will the journey take? The queen asked. If we is leaving now, the BFG said, we'll, we'll, we will be arriving just as the giants is having their afternoon's nozzle. Splendid, said the queen. Then turning to the two military men, she said, prepare to leave immediately. The head of the army, who was feeling pretty miffed by the whole business, said, That's all very well, your majesty, but what are you? What are we going to do with the blighters once we've got them back? Don't you worry about that, the queen told him. We'll be ready for them. Hurry up now, off you go. If it pleases your majesty, Sophie said, I should take a, to I should like to ride with the BFG to keep him company. Well, where will you sit? asked the queen. In his ear, Sophie said, show them BFG. The BFG got down from 
his high chair. He picked Sophie up in his fingers. He swiveled his huge giant, huge right ear until it was parallel with the ground. Then he placed Sophie gently inside it. The head of the army and the air force stood there goggling. The queen smiled. You really are rather a wonderful giant, she said. Magister, the BFG said. I was wishing to ask a very, every very special thing from you. What is it? The queen said. Could you please bring back here in a belly poppers all my collection of dreams? Their day is taking me years and years to collect and I is not wanting to lose them. If, why of course, the queen said, I wish you a safe journey.